Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Odo Sendaiduke and in this video you get a great overview of the MSEC modulator segments. It would be great if you would leave me a like and a subscription. Then let's get started. Since Bitwig 5, there are the MSEC modulators, the so-called multi-stage envelope generators, or simply put, the very flexible envelopes. One of them is the freely definable MSEC modulator segments. Segments is the logical evolution of the traditional ADSR envelopes in all its variants, such as DAH DSR, plug, AD, AR, and so on. Unlike its older variants, segments is very flexibly expandable. If you are interested in the topic more deeply, then you can watch my series about the envelopes. You can find them in the video description or simply in my channel. Let's just have a look at the modulator. When you load it from the browser, you'll find segments in the envelope category, or in German, Hüllkurven category. The first thing you will notice in the inspector is the single trigger option. This is for monophonic use, so that when a note or key is held, an additional note or pressed key does not start the envelope again. It just joins the current progression. At this point, independently of segments, it is also important to know that for each polyphonic device, the option per voice also appears, so that a separate envelope is started for each individual note or key. The corresponding option can be found in the settings area of segments in the lower right corner with the name poly. If poly is activated, each note gets its own segment envelope and is therefore polyphonic. If poly is deactivated, the first note of a series of overlapping notes starts the envelope and all the following notes fall in line. So paraphonic. And of course, the label field should not be overlooked. Especially when several modulators are used, you should consider using this labeling option. And finally, the online help, which wonderfully describes the parameters of the modulator. Clicking on the modulator opens the settings page. At the very top left is the folder icon that can be used to open a selection browser with curve presets. These curve presets can be used in all Bitwig MSEX. The browser can also be opened with control mouse click on the envelope on the modulator, as well as in the settings page. The current category is always the default for the search, but you can easily search across all categories by pressing the F2 key or clear the category filter with a mouse. With a right click on the segments envelope in the settings area, an envelope can also be loaded, saved, copied, pasted and reset or initialized. If you have already watched another of my Bitwig MSEC videos and know all this already, you can skip this part using the chapter markers. Or you can use the opportunity for a short recap session because here and there are some differences. It doesn't hurt anyway. Left click to open the popout editor, which can also be enlarged if necessary. In the upper left corner, there is again the folder symbol with which another envelope can be loaded. And in addition to it, on the right, there's a save symbol where the current envelope can be saved. The name of the current envelope is displayed in the center of the window. Below it is the scale starting with zero. In the line of the scale, the mouse changes into a magnifying glass symbol and the editor can be zoomed here. This is also possible everywhere in the editor with a middle mouse button. But only here you can zoom the optimal width of the envelope with a double click. Keeping the mouse button pressed and moving the mouse around zooms and scrolls the editor. Below the editor on the left, just to the right of the tool label, there are various drawing tools that can be changed with the number keys 1 to 7 or with the mouse. With the pointer tool, Single points can be moved vertically as well as horizontally. With a click on an existing line, another point is added. With a double click in a free area, also a new point is added, which is directly connected with its right and left neighbors. A double click on an already existing point deletes that point. 
And with the press control key, click on a point and moving the mouse, all points of the following envelopes are moved horizontally without changing the envelope. If you hold down the control key and move the envelope up or down, the following envelope will be compressed evenly according to the upper or lower limits. This can be very helpful when adjusting the modulation. With pressed control key between two points, the corresponding segments can be shifted up or down. With the Alt key pressed and the mouse click hovering over a line, the line can be changed to concave, so logarithmic, or convex, so exponential curve. With the Alt key and the mouse click held on a point, while moving the mouse, changes the lines on the right and left into curves, depending on whether they both lead down or up, or whether one line leads down and the other line leads up. Just try it. Unfortunately, there is currently no way to turn the curve back into a straight line with an Alt and double click. The workaround is either to straighten the line by hand or simply delete the point and set it again. I hope the Alt and double click function will be coming in a future version. You can also drag a selection rectangle with a pointer tool so that several points of a curve can be changed at the same time. With a pencil tool, you can simply click freely in the editor and draw around. All other functions with the Ctrl and Alt keys are also available here, except the selection rectangle. The following symbols are basic drawing aids like a rectangle or a whole step, half rectangle or a half step, saw up, saw down and triangle. And finally, a plus and minus to switch the envelope unipolar or bipolar. In addition to these options, the functions of the right-click menu in the pop-out editor are also available. Depending on which segment's play mode is selected, the icons below the display in the settings area, additional options are available in the menu. The first line contains the standard functions cut, copy, paste, duplicate and delete functions. Only the delete function is activated for a selected item. In the second line, all mouse tools are available, pointer, pencil and the basic drawing tools. After that, depending on the play mode, at hold, right-click on a point, the option set hold point to set the sustain level. In loop and ping pong mode, right-click before, in or after a loop to get different options, set loop start or set loop end or both options. Then functions to copy the whole curve or to paste here a curve already copied from another MSEC modulator or to reset the curve to the default value that was active when loading, or in other words, to initialize. Finally, there's the submenu Transform. Fit vertically means that the curve or the points are stretched to the entire height in the correct ratio to each other. Fit vertically upper half, center half and lower half means that the curve and its points are moved and fitted into the upper, middle or lower third, which means that they are squeezed. Normalize horizontally means that the entire curve is compressed or stretched into the range of the scale between 0 and 1. Normalize vertically means that the curve and its points are stretched upwards until the first point reaches the upper edge. Flip horizontally and vertically does what it says. It flips the curve either horizontal or vertical. Duplicate content duplicates the complete curve horizontally. Mirror content appends the same curve reversed at the right side. On the far right is the label snap for snapping to the grid lines, which can be toggled with a mouse click or the S key. And to the right of it, the number of vertical and horizontal grid lines to snap to can be set. With Ctrl and click or double click, the numbers of 0 to 99 can be entered directly. By the way, those who like to paint very wide envelopes can really enjoy themselves here. There's really enough space available. Now let's continue with the detail settings. To the right of the envelope display is a vertical slider that can be used to set the amount. 
That is, how much the modulation should affect a parameter you want to modulate. This is very practical because it allows you to fade an envelope in and out. Below there are five play mode symbols from left to right. In one shot mode, the envelope is run through only once. When it reaches the end, it is finished. Hold mode defines a point in the envelope as the sustain level, as with an ADSR if the key is still held. The pointer tool can be used to move this point in the pop-out editor. In looping mode, the envelope is run through from the beginning until it reaches the endpoint of the set loop and then jumps back to the beginning of the loop again and again and again until the key is released and the remaining envelope is run through as a release. Whether this phase can be still heard depends on other parameters such as the standard ADSR. Here, the start and end point of the loop can also be moved using the pointer tool in the pop-out editor. Ping-pong mode is similar to looping mode, except that the direction has changed. Instead of jumping from the far right to the far left, ping-pong mode always moves back and forth. And of course, here as well, the start and end points of the loop can be moved with the pointer tool in the pop-out editor. On the far right is again the uni bipolar plus minus symbol to toggle the envelope between positive values only and positive and negative values. And the next line contains the speed setting where you can choose from time units such as minutes, note length such as bars, half notes and quarter notes, dotted and triplets, as well as pitch, the frequency of the current note, and hold, the absolute stop. Below this, the symbol on the far left switches smoothing on or off and the knob to the right adjusts how much corners and edges are rounded off, in other words, smoothed. This can be used to remove pops, for example, or you can let an envelope slowly oscillate in or out. A good effect comparison is to focus from sharp to blurry and back or work through the envelope very accurately or just sort of. If you are working with sounds focused on transients, something like percussions, you should consider switching off this option. And finally, at the bottom right, there is a poly button, which, when turned on, ensures that each note and pressed key gets its own segment progression. Switched off, each note starts the segment envelope again, unless the single trigger is activated in the inspector which ensures that only the first note starts the envelope when notes are played together and all other notes or keys that come along joins the current envelope. As I said, if you want to know more about envelopes like this, check out my envelope series I linked in the video description. Now, it was wonderful with you as always, but unfortunately our time is over. My name is Odo Sendaidukai, thanks for watching and paying attention. I'd love to read from you in the comments and hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care, see you then. Ciao ciao!